We are gathered here today in the presence of God and his people to witness the joining together of this man and this woman in holy marriage. Today is a celebration that marriage is God's institution and according to his design. God desires that this marriage would be a blessing to you, that you would have someone with whom you will spend your life. So today you stand before God and you ask for God's presence and God's blessing, knowing that marriage is never easy, not to be entered into advisedly or lightly, but rather reverently, deliberately in accordance with the plans and promises God has intended for it. Noah, I have loved you the last seven years, and now today I become your wife, and I get the privilege of loving you for all the rest. Morgan, I'd first like to start off by reading a little list I had made on February 1st, 2016, long before we ever got together. 5'5 five, five to 5'9, five, blonde or brunette, green or blue eyes, athletic, preferably soccer or volleyball, a nice booty, chill, not crazy, confident, and smart. I remember making the list after being asked what my ideal woman would be like. I'd say the younger me was pretty spot on. opportunity to learn God's love and to show that love by sharing your life with someone else. And by the way, God has introduced you to someone who makes you a better version of yourself than you are separately. That's how you know they're the one you want to marry. You can't imagine the rest of your life without them, and you know they make you a better version of yourself. So later on, I did get to meet Noah. We actually, a year later, they both graduated college. We got to do an amazing trip in Europe. We did Paris, we did Spain, Barcelona. Two, three nights in on the trip, Jen and I went back to the room and we were talking about it. And we knew, we knew this was something very special. I just want to tell everybody, I lost nothing today at all. I gained a son and I could not be happier. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up the other. But woe to the one who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. Throughout these moments and all the moments in between, there's always seemed to be some invisible string tying us together. I promise to be a good teammate and be your biggest fan when you're, when you're at your highest. I promise to try and be the best dad to our kids one day and the best dog dad to Ori. But most importantly, I promise to love you. I see my favorite part of my past, and I see every day for the rest of my life. You are everything I hoped for and nothing I ever expected. I am known for being indecisive, but there is one thing I have never been so sure of, and it is choosing you to be my husband and be the man I spend eternity with. I promise to never stop choosing you today and every day. And to the better half of my heart, I love you. Noah, will you have this woman to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health? If so, then answer, I will. I will. Morgan, will you have this man to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health? If so, then answer, I will. For the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Holly, you may kiss the bride.
tonight, we're here to celebrate the love and unity of these two amazing individuals. Noah and Morgan, you two are truly a perfect match. Just like Noah's corny jokes, your love is the kind that brings smile and laughter to everyone around you. But we are so blessed to have Morgan in our family. I feel like she's already been here lo a long time. I mean, uh, it's been wonderful. I'm so blessed to know Jackie and Mike and Jen and all their family. Uh, I'll leave you with Proverbs 18.22. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Morgan and Noah, you are the best example of love that I will forever look up to, and I can't wait to watch the rest of yours and Ori's story unfold.